It's decision time for the Okanagan School of the Arts and their home here at the historic Shafford Centre in Penticton. The society will vote later this month on whether to cease operations in the face of a cash flow crisis. The nonprofit has been attempting to transition into a sustainable model after eight years in operation by attracting long term tenants like the Penticton Indian Band's economic development arm, which has already moved in. We ran out of runway. It's a really good way to put it. We also are having, frankly, a difficult time attracting tenants, and that is because of the shortcomings of the building. The building's 100 years old. Our boilers are gone. We need to do some dramatic improvements in um, our heating, air conditioning. We can't control the temperatures in the rooms. You know, so if you're going to come into a building like this and invest in it in the future as a business person or as an organization, you need reassurances that the building's going to be in good condition, and it's simply not. I mean, we, we probably, there was a report done by the school board, who are the people that own this building, that talked about amounts exceeding $4 million to bring this building up to today's standards. The OSA board will meet March 21st to examine their options, but Robertson says they are limited. Aside from the option of actually discontinuing, the other options all take significant money. And, um, you know, when you're running a small nonprofit, uh, you have a lot of volunteers working a lot of hours. And this uh, organization, OSA, has been operating that way for a long, long time, and people are really exhausted. You know, we're running out of volunteers that are willing to put in 30 and 40 hours a week to keep the place alive. For Castanet in Penticton, I'm Colin Dacre.